I'm Christian Masser. I'm an actor, and I'm also a writer. I'm not the same as everyone else. I don't look the same as everyone else, but I share a common goal. With those of us still going, for anyone who's ever taken a risk. You're just lucky I'm such a nice guy. I'm just a guy who had a dream. And I never gave up. I'm Christian Masser. So the film is basically about a character named Ace. Ace is reunited with his childhood mentor who brings him in on a high-tech weapons heist. And that's the film in a nutshell. You know, I've done some casting for some independent projects before, but this was different. And a lot of people showed a lot of interest during the casting sessions that so many people valued the story and what you were going for was really an honor. The level of acting from some of these performers is just unbelievable. I started going back and looking at these old childhood movies that I shot. This one in particular, which was called Roach. And I started re-examining this story and the possibility of recutting together this film, which I had never completed as a child. But I always understood money. And when you're flipping dope, that's how you become the shit. You weren't supposed to find that body. You're stupid if you think I'm gonna help you. Alex. I could hack into this system and shut down the cameras. But even though I'm not quite the expert on pyrotechnics, I can pretty much tell you now that blowing up the jail isn't gonna work. The name's Roach. The way that worked with Ace on Fire is that those characters which appear in the short film were then integrated into the feature film. Miraculously, he's this very active character, not quite understanding the world he's getting into. Buy yourself a drink and wipe that sorry ass look off your face. It's like a video game. There's action and excitement. Ace is a cool character. He's the kind of guy you're gonna wanna hang out with. He likes cars. He's into guns. He's into computers. We've got it all. He's got an adrenaline rush and talk about pedal the metal. That's it right there. You know, I always ask myself what I would do if you ever came back. And the answer is actually simple. Everything I have was never mine to begin with. But now that it is mine, I don't much like the idea of parting with it. But I, I don't know what you want. Is it uh, this? Money? Is that what you want? You want a Humvee capable of blowing up a lady's dress from half a mile away? Hey, it's yours. But I absolutely cannot part with the house in the club. I, I just, I can't. Please, Ace. Don't embarrass me in front of the patrons. You were doing me a favor, kiddo. I don't expect anything from you. Except maybe a drink on the house. I'm not asking you to trust me, okay? But I have some very prospective clients who are extremely interested in your abilities. Do you seek an alliance? I want to get two more shots here before we move to our master and that's it for the scene. You just see the exterior and you and I sitting in there? And then we come in on the coverage there. There's no law against making money, man. Oh no, I hear you. One thing that people kept saying is this connection between Ace and Roach is what makes the film. There are many great storylines and many amazing characters, in my opinion. What people are drawn to is this mentor who returns, this very mysterious guy, and then this up-and-comer, Ace, and how they work together to achieve a common goal. This hardcore weapons heist going on, right? I think you're gonna see something really unique. I know how much work went into this, but at the end of the day, it's a movie. I want people to enjoy watching it.